Hey guys, Dr. Methus here back with some more of our Blue Jays franchise here. We're going to have the draft in this episode and in a game with KC, and that will end that one. So I'll give you some ideas to expect. Um, for draft picks wise, since we have the last pick in the draft, I'm not really going to preview the draft. Actually, you know what? I will preview the draft in this episode. So we will play. One of these before KC, then we'll have the draft next episode. And, I'll, and then I'll leave a day after this. There'll be no, uh, no episodes or so, and you can leave in the comments below. Actually, I'll leave a couple days in there, and you can put your comments in our draft uh, preview. I'll put that out the same day I'm having this one out, just right after it, and uh, you guys can let me know. So, game against KC. Uh, let's go Molly here since we didn't really get to see a whole lot of them. I think it'd actually line up with this one. Because what? That's, that's. That'd be one. So, this would be. This would be eight. Nine, ten, eleven. Okay, yes, yeah, so we can play this one on the thirty first. So we take that one, Chris Sale, on his horse. Can we get the sweep? Yes, we can. That's big. Three and a half games back. The Riesk is six and one. Okay, okay. They're just trying to close us out here. Here's Velasquez. Outside. Missed it. Just missed it. Craig Turner. That's a big injury. What does that mean?
Brad Jones. Over here, I want Seacrest to play. So who can play center? We really are you really gonna do that? Oh Biggio plays center. Winker and left. Okay. And who do we need to bring up? Probably Joe Gray. Diaz is going to go to triple A. Samuels is going to go to double A. Does that mess up our double A? Kind of messes up our triple A, though. That's left field. Okay. Here we go. Okay, sale. Six and three this year. Gidry gets that one. Does Julio Urias getting that seven and one? We're gonna be playing this game. That's a four game sweep. Two games back. Two games back. Let's go. It will be fine.
And now, your 2027 Toronto Blue Jays. Okay, Molly, back to his 10th start, 1-3 record, 6.22 ERA, 4, uh, 46 and one third innings pitch, and a 1.32 whip. Let's go. Batting second. The center field. 13. Manuel. Marvel. Molly's not playing games right now. Batting fourth, the catcher, number 28, Francisco Montillo. Well, the count is three and one. Ball four. Ah. First base. Batting fifth, the designated hitter. And that is going to be two runs. Well, the inning started good. Here we go against Brad Keller. Ten stars, three and four record, three point nine zero ERA, fifty seven and two thirds or yeah, fifty seven two thirds innings pitch and a one point three two whip. We need some hits. So Greg Jones heading now, lead off for the injured Trey Turner. Turner will be out for two uh month to two months, I think it was. Last episode, and that one, that one I need to swing at. Batting second, the right fielder, Victor Robles. That's caught at third. Batting third. Second baseman, Javier Baez. What a sinker. The 
left fielder. Just catch it. All right. Batting fifth, the catcher, Kyle Schwarber. Ooh, that's too low, though. Batting six, the third baseman, Vladimir. Yeah. Vlad pokes out and right. Batting seven. The first baseman. Ron Seacrest. All right, Seacrest. there it was sold there Okay, Molly, just settle in. That's again too low. Okay. I just sit back. Stop fishing. Batting none. Not shortstop. So this yes. No, he stayed. He still would have been out. Wow. The center fielder.
Okay. It's on you, Robles. Wow, what a snag. Hoping that would sneak through, but, oh, pitcher decides to feel the ball there. Just missed it. The batter number twenty two, second base, David Fletcher. Catcher number 13, Kyle Swarber. Oh, I almost got that. Looked like a good ball to hit, but no, it was not. That looked like a strike to me, regardless. Ah, uh, okay. Oh my gosh, Molly. Oh my gosh, Molly. 
That's going to score another run. Another two runs likely. It wouldn't have mattered. But I would have had a free base though to pitch to him how I wanted to. One to nothing. That has some carry. That has some carry. That's off the wall, though. We're not going to see Seacrest's first home run live. He has nine this season. Hoping to see one. Biggio batting 180. Not going to get over 200. Swinging at garbage like that. The batter number eleven. Shortstop. Okay. He probably would have been out. Let's go. That's a good slider. We only get one. Not going to win games like this, man. One run out of that. Second baseman, David Fletcher. That's going to be it for 
Molly. Molly has a massive contract, but I'm not sure. Now pitching for the Royals. Number 71. Will Stewart. They're gonna bring in Will Stewart. I just don't think uh We're not going to trade Molly. I don't. Uh, that just seems weird. The fact that he's had uh, such good years, and then this year is the only year for us that he's been down. He's had two years that were Cy Young uh, possible. That's right, the center that's going to die out there, yep. Ladies and gentlemen, your attention Put Fontenot in. Robles. Now that left fielder Anderson Miller. That's ball three. The count's full. Minutes. The left fielder, number eight, Kevin Vizio. Come on, that's that's gotta be something we hit. That's a bomb right there. The number 11. I straight missed it. I mean, that's a strike. You gotta swing at that. I mean, what we could do is think about if Molly is struggling, 
we put one of our bullpen arms in, our bullpen starters, and go from there. Molly has had slow starts and really has put it on for us. So it's it's not. Uh, I'm not concerned. Okay, now I'm kind of concerned with this. There we go. Okay, Patrick Dayton. I mean, if we're gonna have anything, this is the inning, I think. Gotta protect the plate, and geez, that was the strangest changeup I've ever seen. I was not expecting that. That to be that high, that is. The batter, number nine, second baseman, be able to score more than four runs. Okay. Let's just start with Baez. Then what? We got Winker. Warber. Of course. Can't lift it up. One ball, two strikes. Two balls, two strikes. Second baseman, David Fletcher. That's Brown. Let's go. Up next for the Royals, the third baseman, Kelvin Gutierrez. One ball, two strikes, the count. Okay. Your attention, please. Now pitching for the ball. Right hander.
What am I doing? I can never hit Azuna. The batter, the third baseman, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Because that changeup comes in at 82 and his fastball comes in at 100. It gets me all the time. Then he has that slur. Up next to the Blue Jays, the first baseman. I don't know what I saw there. Swinging for the fences, I guess. Come on. Molly goes one and four. Not great, but I think he can bounce back. So on to a draft preview. Okay, so look at this. Mackey's doing decent at double A, okay. Cabbage playing well, triple A. Uh, Leicester at double A is good, and Delgado is playing good at triple A. So that's what we like to see. So Manoa is still going up. Those Woods Richardson. Avery is getting better. The Mali. Seventeen and four, sixteen and six. ERA, he's getting pummeled. Only three quality starts. Giving up two home runs a game now. I mean, just about the same strikeouts, but I don't know. I think Kraus is playing very well. And I think Gidre is playing pretty decent out of the bullpen. 
So I think we're going to do it. That's 22. So how much are we over? 23. If we did do that trade. Not a lot of people want that trade. Pretty much for this season, that is. But I think I think we're gonna keep Molly and we're going to just give him the opportunity to well figure it out at this point. I think that'll be the key. So scouting. So looking at this, we've got a couple. Well, get the desk there. We got a couple blue chip. And remember, we draft like towards the bottom, if not last. So all the blue chips are going to be gone. So let's take that. Um, we're deep at first, I would say so. Kind of look at our roster. I feel like we're good at pitching. I mean, if we had to pull up more, we have all these good guys with Delgado, Goss now, Ma, Sandoval's getting some looks at AAA and doing fantastic. Reyes is getting better. I mean, if, if I had two that I had to call up, Avery looks good. Kalfenstein, uh, Kalfenstein looks good. And so does Ashcraft. Not doing great at AAA, but I think he could do good. So, I mean, we have two more to bring up. And then does that deplete our farm system of pitchers? So we had a couple A potentials, Warner's in there, B. We had a couple B's, 20, 20, 20. He's A, but he's 23 and 62. So, I mean, I think uh, pitchers were good. At relief pitchers, I think we're good. Closing pitcher, I think we're good. We have a lot of young pitchers with Leicester, Latiga, uh, Estrella, and uh, Burrell. Catcher, I think we're good with Downey slowly coming up. First. We can use a first base prospect that's decent. Um, feel like maybe someone that could play second. Although Villegas can play all the out infield positions, so I feel like that's a big uh, boon. The fact that Geraldo can play all the infield positions. I'm not really worried about that. We got Greg Jones. Martinez is waiting. Any real big needs? Outfield, maybe. Naito is at least two years away, probably. Cabbage is doing good, but is he going to grow a lot more? Probably not. Gray is already at the MLB level.
I think the outs outfield maybe. Well, let's see. Someone big. If I took someone here, it'd likely be. But no, they're twenty five, so no. Um not see much here. Kevin Perez, sixty-five overall start. We do probably need a first baseman, but I went with a face ba a first baseman. Robbie uh, Chico is probably the best first baseman on there. Years out, and that's fine. I don't care if someone takes longer or younger. Kevin Perez would be an interesting one. This one would be interesting too. Frank Gonzalez. Does bat left though. Go right here, JJ Bowie, switch hitter, can place third, second, and right field. I think if he can play right field, he could probably play left field too. But depending on his speed, I don't think he could play center. This guy's pretty intriguing. Miguel De Guadido, De Guadio. Good against right-handers, does bat left, though. At short, Charlie Phillips. This guy's intriguing. Play all inside. Not saying much in left. I think this one is going to be a complete crapshoot, essentially. Daniel Reyes looks decent. I can't even give you guys suggestions here. Like when I'm looking at this, I don't even know what I would pick. Tory Geiger. Well, left-handed batter though. That's a, that one's intriguing. The guys that look pretty good is is JJ uh, Bowie, 
will probably be the guy that we target first if he stays on the uh, the board through 29 teams. Another one that was intriguing to me is uh, Miguel De Guadio. Goes bad left though, left handed. And then another one that was intriguing. Here, right here, Jim Hirsch. Closing pitching now. Don't really need a closer. Uh, Frank Gonzalez. Another left handed bat though. Corey Lovell. A left handed bat. Kevin Perez. Uh, so you might we might target him in like the second or third. Philip Chen might be another another guy. This guy looks pretty intriguing, even though we don't have a large scouting accuracy against him. Gary Nakajima. Fifty five is walks isn't up there, but I fifties. Uh, his walk will need some help, but I mean, five or six years at the at the minors. By the time he's like twenty five, twenty six, I think he could do it. That might be a target there. Giancarlo Nunez as well might be an intriguing one. Forty, uh, fifty five, forty five, fifty five, forty on the home runs, but I mean that can easily be overcome at 19 years old so we got a couple of pictures that we've seen and we might end up uh, actually going that way so there's your draft preview not a whole lot to talk about for the most part I still have some questions on if Molly will be able to kind of come back with this but the biggest thing is even though at a, a quote unquote 83 overall and declining. Sale right now is a 78 with a 6 and 3 record. And pitching better than he's ever pitched in Toronto this season. He's back to his 2023 2024 Boston form. And has won, uh, won more than half as many games. Well, only starting 10. So, I mean, he's pitched well. And Molly could have this also. I mean, the seasons that we're asking for sale is a 15 and 5 record. And with Molly as our 4, really, we're just asking for. Like a 15 and 5 record here, like you did with Cincinnati. I'll take a 12 and 9, things like that. This was a Cy Young year here, 17 and 4. We'll take a third place runner up Cy Young one here in 2026. Just didn't have as many innings. The ERA is a little bit higher, but I think he also run a Cy Young. In Cincinnati in the National uh, League so I mean, he's had two two out of the last four years he's had Cy Young's so I think it's just a down year for him otherwise Manoa at 5 and 3 at 11 games pretty much his ERA average Six quality starts at this point. So, I mean, he's he's chugging along. Julio Urias is 7-1. and one. Off to a fantastic start like he had in 2025. 2.94 ERA, so around what he was in the first year, which was, was him in uh, Mali. Fighting it out. So that's Cy Young. Woods Richardson, 
is the chakra here playing a lot better five and three record and 11 starts i think he can uh come through he already has oh, only two quality starts but there's that the real shocker for this year though is uh chris sale chris sale has been off to a hot start joe's so we got some hot players on the team right now uh nothing out of the bullpen for those Torber's down to an 86, so he's no longer trending up. But I mean, he's still playing well. Seacrest, the rookie. Trending down. Batting 260, though. One steal, 25 RBIs, 9 home runs. Baez batting like a monster right now the guy is batting like an animal so is Vlad we'll be 243 Greg Jones is having to play that center field playing well Winker's batting 295. Okay, that's what he's batted for us the past couple of years. Up in the high 280s. The 307 in 2023. It was down in the 240s, 260s, 299 last season. And fighting to get up in the 295s this season. Fair turn before he got injured was 275, which is where he's batted consistently for years we could uh certainly help with we got robles off that down year in washington and he comes back with a 246 a 230 and he's batting 269 right now i mean in 53 games has half of the rbis that he had last season that's pretty good. So a quick stat update there. Nothing uh, too crazy as well. So give me your thoughts down in the comments below, especially with the scouting. I think the the guy that we're going to be going for is J.J. Bowie. And then if J.J. Bowie falls down, then we go, or if he's not there, then we likely go with... Uh, Someone in here, Robert Chico will be gone. Man Perez, no. Here he is. There's Gary Nakajima. Justin McQueen was in there as well. Giancarlo Nunez. So we might replenish. Uh, we'll probably take two pitchers. So that gives us some ideas. But our target is Bowie from there. Uh, probably the best player and uh, one of the best players in the draft. But we'll kind of see how that rubs out for us. We're going to have a deficit probably going into the next season, which means we're probably going to have a lot of changes on the team. Obviously, we can't with our core, with uh, Guerrero and those guys. But I think it comes to the point that Manoa is going to have a large contract. we got to keep Biggio. Javi starts growing sooner rather than later, but that's offset by Gorber's contract. So as biases goes up, Schwarber's goes down, so that's kind of offset. Bichette's goes up, 
we got we have to think about what we're gonna do with Winker. But I think we're gonna keep him long term. Robles doing some work. And we have a bunch of guys in arbitration and stuff like that. So we gotta figure out exactly what we're gonna be doing. But this is a lot of money to be paying. Someone like Julio Urias. I think we can get younger at the position. Maybe it's time to uh kind of flip some guys, maybe. Uh, Molly's in his first year of his new of his previous contract, and he goes into his first year of his uh next three year contract. So that will be that. Torber is probably the odd man out, like always. We need to make room. So, thank you all for joining me. Go ahead and leave your comments down in the comment section below what you think about the draft. Otherwise, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any more of our Blue Jays franchise. And I will see you guys next time. Later.